You know what's funny? Josh, you look like the most attractive lesbian or the ugliest dude in the world. <laughs> Not my best joke of the night. All right, we got one comic left. He's been waiting all night. He's out of his fucking mind. How many people here by by uh, hey, how many people here have seen B Rad? By the way. Oh, oh, just one. Just me? oh, a few. Okay. Just me? okay. Oh yeah. Let's get it going with our last comedian of the evening, B Rad. Everybody. Fuck yeah. Let me talk about my three-year pandemic. Yes, yeah, that seems a long, but it felt like fucking three years. God. Oh, shit. Um, so, yeah. Man, it's fucking hot out here. I should have worn a fucking Speedo. Be like, baby, let me see that thong, 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 thong. Oh, yeah, Kardashian pandemic ass here. Woo. Fuck yeah. But, yeah, three, three... I, the pandemic feels like three fucking years. God fucking damn. Oh, it feels like freaking... The sex, it made sex awkward. Fuck. It ought to be three inches away. Fucking hey. Oh, seriously, it could be three... You're supposed to be six feet away. That would be a black man's dick right there. Freaking it being six feet away. That's... Uh, black man could get away with that one right there. Oh shit! Um, um, so yeah, freaking, it's a good year to fucking be have a restraint order, freaking, in a pandemic year. Let me tell you a little story, freaking, fucking, it's, like I said, a three-year pandemic for me, freaking, fuck. So yeah, this um, who di do this online dating, <laughs> fucking, plenty of fucking fish. Yeah, there's plenty of fucking whore fish out there. Holy oh, no. fuck. Oh um, yeah, so yeah, freaking picked up one of these freaking whores out there, freaking in New Hampshire. Shit, it's talk about live free or die out there, but I picked her up, fucking, it was five days before Valentine's Day, so, I was, for, I was done fucking masturbating on the hour, on the hour before fucking Valentine's Day, fucking A. Oh, shit. So, yeah, we got back, but, so, damn, she seemed normal over the phone. They all do. They really, really do seem normal. On the phone till you get them back to your house and they have you strapped up to the fucking bed and freaking choke your fucking head off and fucking trying to shove your fucking dick in your own fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah? What? I have questions. What's that? I don't know. More. What's that? More context. More context? Alright, get in there. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. So yeah, freaking, uh, yeah, it's, uh, but yeah, it's, she freaking wanted to bring a fucking another guy in the freaking to my house. A guy that no freaking. She was just texting him along, freaking all this shit, freaking texting. No, we let's bring another guy. No, fuck no. This is the only freaking dicky here, freaking. I'm trying to fucking get the police over to get your ass fucking out. God damn fucking damn. So I managed to scheme up a fucking plan. So I live out middle of nowhere. So you can easily dump a body fucking right in the fucking river. And, and, and all that shit. <laughs> but that, no, no, that didn't happen. So I brought her, trying to get her to my friend's fucking Ski McWeed's camp. Oh, yeah. I tried to fucking get her there. Fuck I'm yeah. like, she was obsessed with him too. Freaking so, like, let's go over his camp. Freaking fuck. Let's go over his camp. Let's, let's go there. Freaking. The only way she was freaking making a fucking phone call was through the internet. So I had to get away from fucking. Get away from Wi-Fi. She dick talked my fucking asshole too much. Like we went on one date to a Chinese restaurant. I found the scorpion bow. That means that scorpion up the fucking asshole. Fucking a. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like I said, a three-year fucking pandemic. Fucking a. Oh shit. And I fucking and she. Uh, that's pretty much my three-year year fucking pandemic. Thank you very much. I'm B Rad. <laughs> Brad, do not go anywhere. I have questions for you. Um, also, if, if you've never done meth off of a truck's hood, that's what that's like. If you've never been all cranked up, that's what that's like. So, how many women have you dated over the pandemic, Brad? Um, like one. Only one. That woman had to put a restraint order on Valentine's Day. Wait, so you met her seven days before Valentine's Day? And I put a restraint while she was in the loony band all on Valentine's Day. Did you fuck her without a condom? 
Uh, no. Oh, you used production. Yeah. Did you be, you didn't have sex with her? Yeah, yeah, I did. But you did, it, it just, I didn't want crazy babies. Well, it's good. At least you're pulling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, I'm always surprised about the number of women you have bedded. Can I ask this no, what, what current number right now? Do you know your current number of ladies? No idea. No idea. More than 20? Less. Less than 20. All right. But then you're just bad at counting. That's really not on you. Yeah, it's, that's... No, yeah, all right, cool. All right, so uh, less than 10? No. More than 10. Ooh. This is a fun game, by the way. This is all I got. Uh, more than 15. Less. Ooh, so between like fifteen and ten, and how many of those have been with? How many of those have been protected sex? Um, all of them. You've had protected sex with everyone. Yeah. Wow. Did anyone else not believe that? Right? Yeah. Right. All right. Everyone else doesn't believe that. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. You look like you raw dog everything. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there's a candle open your car that's tired of getting raw dog. Uh, be rad. You're one of my favorites. Give it up for B-Rad, everybody. Do you have anything else to say? Love to say? Not this week. I fucking love you, B-Rad. Thank you very much for coming out. All right. That was Comedy Night here at Brookside. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your foes. Um, we'll be back.